Hey folks, Ryan here from Mr. Oz Gaming Rants and Reviews, and I got neither a rant nor a review, but I have a playthrough tonight, and my playthrough is going to be a game that I've been very excited about, and that is Marvel X-Men United, uh, designed by Andre Shiravizio and Eric Lang, and of course published by Come On Games and Spin Master Games. Oh boy, am I very, very excited for this playthrough. I am going to be playing solo uh, tonight, uh, two-handed. I'm not a very big fan of the official solo mode, so I'm just going to be playing multi-handed, which is pretty easy to track on this uh, for this type of game. Uh, so I will remind you that this is a playthrough, so be sure to turn on the Klingon sub-channel uh, sub so that you can, if I catch any goofs in the post-production, I'll be posting my comments there on any of the goofs that I've made. And oh boy, please believe me that I make lots of goofs in my playthrough. So please make sure you have that sub-channel turned on. And without further ado, let's join me at the table and let's play Marvel X-Men United. All right, so I'm all set up for a two-player game of Marvel X-Men United, where I will be playing tonight as Wolverine and Cyclops, taking on the iconic villain of Magneto. And my gosh, I've been so excited to play the X-Men version of Marvel United. Marvel United is one of my son's and I's favorite um, game that to play uh, lately. And I've been so excited to try to get the X-Men version to the table. And you know what? I thought, no better time than tonight. Let's try it out. So, uh, yeah, I'm taking on Magneto. Um, I'm playing two-handed solo here. Um, I'm not a big fan of the official uh, solo mode. I'm just going to play it how my son and I usually love to play it, and it's just, it's just two heroes taking on the big bad. So, two-player. Got Magneto's health here set to five. Um, that is off of there. Yeah, let's take a look at Magneto. So he's got some special rules here. Um, first off, he's got a special setup where it says replace the rescue civilians mission and use the use Cerebro mission. So that is this here. So we are going to try to activate Cerebro first, and that's going to be one of our missions by putting down these rescue and uh, move tokens. And then he's got some special rules too that says at the start of each villain turn, you get to add a civilian to the location opposite of Magneto. Um, and then his BAM effect is add one thug and deal one damage to each hero in Magneto's location. Each hero in this and adjacent locations must discard one action token, if they have any. His overflow is if one or more tokens can't be added to a location, turn all civilians and in both in that location and in both adjacent locations into thugs. And the heroes lose if at any moment there are no civilians at any locations. So that seems pretty difficult to do. So let's take a look here. I'm going to put those tokens. And oh yes, I am playing with the plastic token set. Which I didn't actually realize that the health tokens actually stack together very nicely. Okay, they kind of clip in and they don't slide around. Which is actually very thoughtful. I like that. So I'll put those there. Uh, threat cards have been added to the board here. He's got a couple henchmen here. They've got a like Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. Uh, the Blob and Mastermind up there. And yeah, I think we are all ready and set to go. I have my opening hands of cards. And oh yes, I am going to be playing tonight on the hard challenge where I have removed the double wild card um, cards from each of the heroes decks. So they are here. And I have removed them out of the game. So I am one card less, and it's the one really, really good card, which, you know, it should be hard. Make this game a little bit more um, interesting. So let us get at her here. So every game of Marvel United starts with the villain activation. And special rules still taking effect at the start of each villain's turn. Add a civilian to the location opposite of magneto and then we will draw his top card and it looks like here he's going to move three so let's take him over here and one two three he's going to be in our location there is no bam effect 
and he will add some thugs to each location. And grab another one here. And that's it. There is no um, location activation here, so we are good with that. Okay, who are we going to start with? We'll start with um, Wolverine here. So he'll draw a card into his hand. Okay, and Wolverine, he is going to, and he will play this uh, move and rescue. And you know what? I'm just going to go right off the bat here, and I'm going to put a move and rescue tokens on to Cerebro. Kind of get that, kind of get that ball rolling there. Okay, Cyclops' turn. He will draw a card. Perfect. And Cyclops is going to play his Optic Blast card. So I'll add that to the timeline here. So, so Cyclops, he will do... So let's see here. I'm going to use Wolverine's move first. Should he do that first? Yeah, let's do, let's do use Wolverine's move first. He's going to move over to here. And then he can do an optic blast. He can do a fight action in both adjacent locations. So he'll fight this thug. He will fight this thug. And then he has a fight action in his location. He'll do one down. I think I'll do one damage to Scarlet Witch. That seems to be like a good thing. And we also have a rescue icon. And we will add another one to Cerebro. Okay, that seems pretty good. Wolverine's action, you will draw a card. Okay. And let us take a look here what we will do with Wolverine here. And do you know what? I think Wolverine should... Hmm, no move. So he's kind of stuck where he is. He's got that fight from Cyclops' optic blast here. So I think that... We should just do a... I'm going to play Wolverine's... He had a card in his hand that was a starting... That starts in his hand. And I'm going to play his uh, healing factor. It says, as long as this is face up in the timeline here, at the end of a villain turn, he can heal one damage by drawing back up... By um, drawing a card if he has less than three. Which is actually kind of nice. So, with his Cyclops's optic blast fight card he will take this thug off of that card and as his you know let's take a look at uh, yeah as his star you know what we're making some pretty good progress on cerebro i'm gonna put a star put a star on this threat okay because it says here as long as magneto is in this or adjacent locations he cannot take damage so i'm gonna probably try to get rid of that before we actually start dealing some damage to uh uh, Magneto. All right. So that is that turn. It is now the villain's activation. Special rules take in effect. We're going to add on a civilian to the location opposite. And we will draw his card. And he will be moving three again. Two, three. Whoops. And no BAM effect again very interesting uh and he will add a thug to there to his location and that location over there okay well alrighty here i'll just kind of move the timeline over a little bit I, at one point in time i will consolidate once i start running out of room here uh but cyclops is going to go next because wolverine acted last so cyclops will draw a card Okay, very interesting. Now I do have that. Okay, so I'm going to play Cyclops' leadership. And you can give a wild card token to any hero. So I'll give a wild card token to Wolverine here. And I get a move icon. And I also have Wolverine's um, rescue icon. So I'll use Wolverine's rescue icon to put it onto Cerebro. And I will use his, I'll use his move 
think I'll use his move to move to that location over there. That seems like a okay plan. Yeah, let's try that. Okay, so now it is Wolverine's turn. So Wolverine will draw a card. Interesting. So let's go with... Yeah, this seems like an okay plan. So let's go with Adamantium Claws. I'll just get them like there. Adamantium Claws. So I am going to use one of my movements to move to this location. I'm going to use Adamantium Claws to fight to deal two damage to Scarlet Witch. And I am also going to use my wild card token as another fight on Scarlet Witch to get rid of her, get rid of that threat. She gone. Which means I can add a clear threat token. And I still have one more move icon, so I will add a move token to Cerebro. I think that's okay. I think that was okay. I don't know how many times I'm going to say that, but I think that was okay. <laughs> All right, Cyclops' turn. Right, Cyclops draws a card. Okay, he's going to get move from Wolverine. And that location with Wolverine looks like it is building up very, very fast. So, oh my goodness gracious. What should I do? You know what? I'm actually going to do it this way, though. I am going to play down. We'll play down this double fight card for Cyclops. So we have the double fight, which I will. Oh, my goodness gracious. Which location should I take them out of? You know what? I'm going to take them out of my current location. I'm going to use two fight. There we go. And I will use Wolverine's move token. You know what? We'll add the last move to Cerebro. I think that might be an actual, actually good plan. Just to kind of just don't get rid of it. So now I can use my move icons, you know, to actually move. I can take their care of that. And now he, the villain is going to activate after every two hero cards, which is okay because I just played three. So I guess I'm getting the most out of that. Okay. I think we are done our turn. So I am going to just kind of consolidate a little bit. Uh, just kind of do this here. Just kind of maybe just stack all these cards up. Just know that we do have healing factor face up in the timeline and I'm going to add on the next villain card Oh, beginning of the villain phase we have to add a civilian token to the location opposite of Magneto and we are now going to activate Magneto which is he's going to move four and bam so here's our, here's our first bam one two three four he's in Wolverine's location Okay, what does BAM say? It says, add one thug to each hero. Oh, okay, add one thug. Uh, I guess just follow exactly what it says, Ryan. Haha. <laughs> Deal one damage to each hero in Magneto's location. Okay. Um, We'll put this card on the bottom of Wolverine's deck. And each hero in the adjacent locations must discard one action token if they have any. Cyclops does not have any action tokens, so he doesn't have to discard anything. All right. Now, there's some other BAM effects that are all around this board. Let's take a look at... Let's take a look at Blob here. Discard one civilian from this location. Deal one damage and give one crisis token to one hero in this location. Does take an effect. Uh, Quicksilver. Deal one damage to the hero with the most cards in hand. If multiple heroes are tied, heroes choose. 
Now, it doesn't say in this location, so I guess I just have to do that. Um, yeah, okay, I'll just deal one. Cyclops is the only one. Cyclops has got three cards in hand. I'll show you. Cyclops has got three cards in hand where, from the damage, Wolverine's only got two cards in hand now. So I guess Cyclops will... You know what, I'll just put that one on the bottom of his deck. Sounds okay. And let's take a look over here. Oh, Mastermind. Heroes in this and adjacent locations reveal one random card from their hand. For each fight icon at the bottom of the reveal card, discard one civilian from this location. Well, I'll just let you know, one random card is not going to reveal a fight icon in Cyclops' hand, so we are safe for that one. Alrighty then, I think that is everything. Uh, Wolverine's card is in effect here, Healing Factor. If you have less than three cards in your hand at the end of the villain turn, I get to draw a card. So Wolverine is going to get to draw a card here. All right, it is Wolverine's turn, so draws a card. Hmm, well, I got the two fight icons from Cyclops, which is really important for the location that I'm currently in. What else am I going to want to do with that? Hmm. Probably start moving and do some moving here. So I'm going to give Wolverine some movement. I will use the two fight actions from Cyclops to deal with two of these thugs. Seems to be okay. And then I'm going to move. And I shall... I'll move to this location. And Cyclops' turn. So Cyclops is going to draw a card. All right. And that seems to be pretty good. I will use Optic Blast again. And so I get to do... So I'm going to move first, I think. Nope. First, what I'm going to do is I am going to do the special action of fight in both adjacent locations. So I can do that. And I can do this one. And that defeats the thugs. Oh, there we go. This is awesome. Because now I can deal damage to Magneto. Except for Magneto is in a location where he's not going to take any damage because of this magnetic force field threat card. So, with that other fight action and my move action, I shall... Hmm. What should we do with that? I think we should just do a move. And I will... I will fight Mastermind for one damage. Okay, two hero cards have been played, so Magneto gets to activate, and we will put a civilian token across from his location. So one, two, three. Over there. And we will draw his next card. Move one and bam. So moves one location. And he will activate bam, which will... Hmm, let's take a look here. Add one thug to his location. Deal one damage. Heroes in adjacent locations have to lose one token, which they don't have. Okay, BAMs. Blob discards a civilian. And nothing else. Uh, Mastermind, though. Heroes in this location must reveal a random card from their hand. And guess what? There's still no fight action cards in Cyclops' hand, so revealing a random card is not really going to do much. And I will add thug tokens to this location. 
this location and that location. Okay. Wolverine's turn. He is going to draw a card. Okay, can we start adding some damage to um to Magneto? Because Magneto, oh no, Magneto is in another magnetic force field location. So that is not good for us. So let's do it this way. Hmm. I want to give Cyclops some movement. So how about we deal this way? Nope, nope, let's do it this way. I am going to play Wolverine's Double um, Rescue to put two more stars onto this location so that I can hopefully get one more there so that I can take away at least one of these magnetic force fields. That seems like okay. Uh, Cyclops' turn. Draws a card. And... Oh my goodness gracious. We need to give him something to do. Let's give him a... Oh my. Not too many options for Cyclops right now. Let's give him a movement. So I can give somebody else a movement later on. And Cyclops is going to move. Which direction should he move? Yeah, and you know what? Cyclops is going to move this way. That seems like okay. And I am going to use two of Wolverine's things to try to get rid of that magnetic force field. Yeah, that seems okay. All right. Villain activation. Add a civilian token opposite the board. So one, two, three. So there is a civilian there. And he will move two and bam. One, two. Oh, he's vulnerable in that location. Uh, bam. Get to add a thug. Deal one damage. Nope. Adjacent heroes. Nope. Uh, blob, discard a civilian. Nope. And mastermind, uh, heroes in this and adjacent locations reveal one random card. Well, guess what? Neither of those cards have fight actions on them, so nothing happens. Alrighty, then. I'm going to consolidate again. Kind of just put these all up here. And then kind of yeah, kind of do it that way. All right, so Wolverine's going to act. So Wolverine draws a card. Oh, that would actually be pretty useful if I could get there. So how about we do it? Hmm. I wish I could have that. I, would ha I wish I had one extra movement. And I do. Because we've got Adamantium Claws. And Adamantium Claws. So I'm going to use the movement from Cyclops to move there. I'm going to use this wild card as a movement. And we use Adamantium Claws to do two damage to Magneto. Because there's no magnetic force field around there to keep them from getting damaged. So that was pretty all right. Cyclops' turn. Draw a card. Okay, Cyclops. Cyclops, Cyclops. You should probably... I'm going to play Leadership, which is going to give Wolverine a wildcard token. And importantly, it is going to give a star. And Wolverine also has a um, wild card. So let us do two stars to get rid of this other magnetic force field. Can I put 
puts that clear threat on there. Yeah, that works. Okay. I think that it works. End of turn effect here. You may discard one card from your hand to the bottom of your deck to gain two fight tokens. Ooh. That is pretty tasty, except for Cyclops has only got two cards in hand. So I don't want to get I don't want him to get KO'd. So I am not going to do that. Okay, Magneto's turn. Civilian token. One, two, three locations away. And he is going to flip over his card. He is going to move <laughs> zero places and activate BAM. All right. So he's not going to go to. So BAM, add a. To his location. Deal one damage to Wolverine. So I'll put a card to the bottom of his deck. Wolverine's only got two cards in hand now. Okay, and each hero in this and adjacent locations must discard an action token if they have any. So Wolverine is actually going to lose that wild card token. Guess I should have planned for that. Uh, bam. Blob is going to discard one civilian from this location. Nope. Uh, deal one damage and give one crisis token. To heroes in this location, so Wolverine is going to get damaged again. Oi. So there's another damage. Uh, Quicksilver, deal one damage to the hero with the most cards in their hand. So I guess that is Cyclops. So I'm put a card to the bottom of his deck. And uh, Mastermind. Oh my goodness. Okay, so uh, heroes in this location and adjacent locations reveal one random card from there. Well, each hero only has one card in their hands. Uh, Cyclops does not have any fight action, so he's not going to do anything. But uh, Wolverine, he does have a fight action on his card. So it says for each fight icon at the bottom of the reveal cards, discard one. Uh, does, uh, discard one civilian from that hero's location. Well, there's no civilians in Wolverine's location, so that is okay. My goodness. Okay, so then we also have to do the adding of the people. So let's see here. We're going to add some thugs. We got to add... Okay, gosh. Oh, gosh. So we have to add a thug to this location. But there's no room. So the overflow effect says, um, if it can't be added, turn all civilians in that location and in both adjacent locations into thugs. That one's already a thug. And that one's already got thugs. Okay. Going to put it in that one. Can't put it in that one. So that location and this location each get turned to thugs. Oh, boy. And I got to put one in this location, which can't. So that one and this one are going to get turned into thugs. Oh, boy. That was a pretty um, nasty effect. Because essentially, I only have one location with civilian tokens left on it. And if those civilian tokens disappear, well, they are... Um, we lose the game. So hopefully, I can deal some damage to Magneto coming up here. All right, uh, who's going first? Oh, Wolverine. So Wolverine draws a card. <laughs> what a lucky draw we got here because we got his Adamantium Claws, which deals the damage and deals two more damage. And those are three damage we can deal to Magneto here to defeat him. Magneto is defeated. Huzzah! Cyclops and Wolverine successfully defend against the mighty Magneto. Okay, yeah, we were starting to get down to the nitty-gritty here. We only had one card left in hand each. 
um, after that card was played. And uh, oh, I get, realized that Wolverine probably could have drawn another card from his uh, healing touch. So he should actually should have had another card in hand, which, oh, was another fight action. But hey, I really enjoyed that scenario. That was really well done. Um, I can see how that could have chained. As you saw how many of the locations lost their civilians, leaving only one left. So, holy Toledos. Well, that is X-Men Marvel United. Please leave a comment in the description of this video whether or not you have picked up X-Men Marvel United. And are you enjoying the game? Uh, have you discovered a storage solution for all of these massive amounts of stuff inside of that, uh, that Kickstarter? Um, if you did manage to get it through the Kickstarter. Uh, and yes, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to this channel if you are enjoying the uh, content that I am creating. All right, folks, that was Marvel X-Men United Mission Successful. And playthrough is officially over.